Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the second straight national championship here in the White Tails Dynasty as we take on number two, undefeated Wisconsin. The storyline just writes itself. Mike Singletary is the head coach at Wisconsin. Now, he has turned this program around. You can see the progression from his team the last three seasons. And they have Mike Gundy at offensive coordinator. This is a different looking Wisconsin team. They like to spread the ball out, but hand the ball off still, as Brian Simmons is their lead back. 1,700 yards, 94 overall as a junior. He is an unstoppable force and one of the Heisman list guys this year. He finished fourth on the Heisman list. And on defense is where they do dominate they are the number one defense in the nation and con childress our old pal as a recruit he is the starter at safety so let's not waste any time let's kick off this national championship here in pasadena california as here wisconsin starts out with the ball and out comes lee at quarterback now they lean heavily on their short passing game and their run if we can take that away we're gonna be in good shape this game. So here is Lee under center. The first pass is gonna be out to left side. He's gonna find his tight end, Newton. And he's gonna get about a gain of six. As that brings it to a second and four. Now they spread it out. They're gonna hand it off to Brian Simmons. He gets to the left side. He will break a tackle and get tackled before the first down marker. And that brings up a third and one. Here is Lee running the hurry up offense. Throw to left side. He's got his receiver, Kimbrough for a gain of 10 and a first down as they move the chains at least once on this first drive. So here is Lee lined up with trips to the right side. He's gonna hand it off to Brian Simmons who breaks the tackle, then gets lit up by the All-American Ali Myers as that brings it to a second and 11. This time we're gonna send the blitz off the left edge with the All-American David Wyatt, but Lee takes it up the middle and he does get taken down from behind and that is Frankie Kai on the tackle. So third and four now from the shotgun. Here is Lee. He's going to throw out to Brian Simmons. Actually, that's Boyd. He's going to get it, but not get to the first down marker. That's a tackle by Coco Bamaye out there. And we do force the punt on our first drive. So here is Deshaun Wilson, the true freshman, starting out in his first game throw across the middle. He's going to oh, almost be picked off. And that was a risky throw already. Remember, this is the number one defense we're playing against. We have to be careful. Second and 10, throw out to the right side. It's Jasper Sweet who spins around and he does get about a gain of eight. And this drive does stay alive here after that missed interception, third and two. Handoff, Apollo St. Vincent who's coming off of the first 1,000 yard season in Whitetail's history. It's a first down. So now from the shotgun this time, Wilson rolls out to the right side, throws to Jasper Sweet. It is somehow caught by Michael Bradbury. Gain of 18. Take a look at this play. It's deflected by the defender, still bounces around in the air. Look at the awareness by Michael Bradbury. He comes up with the catch and gets a couple of yards after that. It's a first down. So first and 10 across the 50. This Sean Wilson is going to take it up the middle, and that's a play we like to run with Marquise Moore and Jabari Hollywood. He picks up three. So here's a jet sweep, giving it right back to Marquise Moore, our former quarterback. And he gets a gain of four yards, and that brings it to a third and three at about the 40. Wilson scrambles out to the right side. Nobody's home. And look at the room he's got. He's going to cut to the outside and slide at about the 25-yard line. That's a nice gain. So now we get it to the 25, handoff. Julian Gonzalez this time. He's going to get upfield, and he's going to get about a gain of seven as he cuts back and gets us to about the 17-yard line for a third and three. Wisconsin is going to send the blitz off the left edge, and here is Wilson. Throws across the middle, and it's just slightly overthrown intended for Marquise Moore. And on the first drive, we will settle for three points, but we do take the lead here as now Wisconsin comes back out on offense. Let's see if Lee can do something here on the second drive. So trips to the right side. Here is Lee, throw out to the right side. He's got Newton, his tight end, and gets tackled from behind by David Wyatt, but it's a gain of nine yards. And that brings it to a second and one. This time Lee, a design rollout to left side. He throws to a wide open man, and that's Zach McMahon on the sideline beating uh, Yarbrough on the outside, and it's a first down. 
So first and 10 this time. Brian Simmons gets another hand off to the left side, and he will get tackled in one-on-one -on -one by Marquise Dorsey, who's coming off of an All-American year, the senior, playing in his final game as that brings it to a third and four. This time, Lee breaks it up the middle, and he will somehow fight forward for the first down marker, and it's a gain of five. He only needed four, and this drive continues here at the end of the first quarter. Draw play. Brian Simmons gets spun around and gets tackled from behind by Aurelio Villain, and that brings it to a third and six after that short gain. This time, Lee from the shotgun. He's gonna try to take it himself and does get taken down and that is Anderson Reed. He doesn't get credit for the sack, but he at least gets the, st gets the tackle there on third down. And they will line up for the long field goal, about 52 yards, but this time it's gonna be off the mark. And this Wisconsin kicker had a hard time last week hitting field goals in the conference championship and he misses a big one here. And now we still have this lead three to nothing as here comes Deshaun Wilson back out onto the field. So they send the blitz on the first play. And this time, a defender goes in unblocked, and that's a loss of 10 yards. And now we get it to start the second quarter with a second and 21. Wilson, another blitz, and they get in right away, and they hit Wilson on that throw. And now it's third and 21. So now from the pistol formation, Wilson back to pass, throws deep. He's got Ramel Williams wide open. How do you forget about him up the scene? They were in a cover two, and they forget about the big tight end. And it's a big time throw from Wilson, and it's a first down as we convert on that play. So now past the 50-yard line to about the 44-yard line. Here is Bradbury getting the jet sweep, and I like to get him the ball. He's actually really, really agile when he has the ball in his hands, and that's a gain of eight. So now third and one. We're going to give it off to Jasper Sweet, but no, we fake it to him and give it off to Apollo St. Vincent, who has an open hole. Gain of eight. I love the sleight of hand in this offense, and it's another first down. So six minutes left here in the first half. Wilson buys some time. He gets to the right edge. He gets around the blocker, and then he picks up a gain of 13. And now we're inside the five with the chance to put some points on the board. So first and goal, handoff. Apollo St. Vincent runs over a defender and does pick up about a gain of three yards as that brings it to eventual third and goal. Handoff, Julian Gonzalez gets stopped on the play and there's gonna be a flag and look, it's gonna be holding. So this play will be declined and now we settle for three points. And now here comes Wisconsin back out onto the field. We've done a pretty good job shutting them down. This time Lee lobs over the middle and he's got Robinson. That's some perfect touch on that one. Gain of 18 and a first down here for Lee. So first and 10 this time, Lee from the pocket. He's gonna throw to left side and it's almost in traffic and that's Adam Williams on the tackle that time. He maybe could have made a play on the ball as that eventually brings it to about the 48 yard line here for a second and six. Three and a half minutes left here. Throw off to the right side and it's gonna be caught by Robinson. And there is another first down here on this drive as Wisconsin's putting together a nice couple of throws. Simmons throws off a blocker, and then he goes free to about the 10-yard line. Gain of 19 for Brian Simmons. And now they're inside the 10-yard line as they pitch it right back out to him inside the 10. This time, a crowd of whitetails are there. Marquise Dorsey comes up with the tackle, and that's two nice one-on-one -on -one tackles with him. And that brings it to a third and seven. Here is Lee, this time scrambling out to the right side. And he almost breaks free to the goal line and gets tackled, though. And that's a gain of five yards as they do settle for three, making it a six to three game. So now to end the first half, two minutes left. Here's Jonte Batson with a nice lane to the left side. Gain of 53 yards. And you can just see this is an even matchup through the first two quarters. Pretty much dead even on offense. So here is Deshaun Wilson this time, scrambling out to the right side to start the next drive. He gets around the edge and gets pushed out of bounds for a gain of 13, and that is a first down. So past the 50-yard line this time. Wisconsin doesn't even need to send pressure, but they get pressure right there. But Jasper Sweet is open on the drag across the middle, and he has speed, 19 yards for Jasper Sweet, and it's a first down as now this clock winds down inside of a minute left here in the first half. Handoff, Apollo St. Vincent. And he gets about four yards. He's been bottled up so far in this one. As that eventually brings us to a third and six. Deshaun Wilson throws to Ramel Williams, who gets tripped up, but he does just get enough for the first down. 
We still do have one timeout left here in the first half as we try to run the ball here to get the ball closer and we get about a gain of three, Apollo St. Vincent. And now this clock keeps going here inside of 15 seconds. Now 10 seconds, throw across the middle. It's Ramel Williams and that's about a gain of two. We call our last timeout. So this time with eight seconds left, we have to go to the end zone. Third and goal, Wilson throws, and it's caught by Marquise Moore. Touchdown, five yards out. And that is how this one will go into halftime. Quarterback to quarterback connection on that one. 13 to three. This is a close game. And now the second half is gonna be really good. So here we go to start the second half. If we do score on this drive, we could be in control as we can ride our defense. Apollo St. Vincent starts out the second half with a gain of 14 up the middle. And that's a first down as we're past the 50. So we run Marquise Moore in motion this time and give it off to him. I love giving him the ball in motion like that. It's a gain of eight. He's got 99 acceleration, which definitely helps there. And it's another first down. So Wilson, play action fake, throw across the middle, and it's caught by Michael Bradbury. I actually have Michael Bradbury lined up as the second tight end now on the depth chart. He plays really, really good on the line. So second and 11 this time. Throw to the right side, and it's almost picked off by David Mills, one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. He should have had that one. And the drive continues here for a third and 11. Here is Deshaun Wilson this time, trying to buy time, but he gets swallowed up. And wow, that's a big loss of 10 yards. And now this is gonna be about a 52 yarder as here comes Kagan in the true freshman and he will knock it through, making it 16 to three. He's hit some big time field goals in this one so far. And that gives us a 13 point lead. He probably had a few more yards on that kick, but he's just gonna get even better next season. So first and 10, back on the next drive. Here's a throw, and it's a caught catch and a smack that time by Tamari Jamison. And that's a gain of nothing, as that brings it to a second and 10. Throw out to Hunter, and Hunter does fight forward. He does get enough for the first down gain of 10 yards, as that moves the chains, and here comes Lee under center this time. Quick throw out to the right side, and it's picked off by the senior, Coco Bamaye. In the first turnover of the game comes by way of the Whitetail secondary and Coco Bamaye just sniffs that one out the entire time. And it's a first down going the other way. And now here we go, giving the ball off to Apollo St. Vincent to start out the next drive and it's a gain of one. And Apollo has really been bottled up in this one. And that eventually brings us to a third and seven. Quick throw, Jasper Sweet, a lot of room again. He is so fast, gain of 14 yards and a first down. He's got three big receptions in this one. So first and 10, play action fake, throw to the right side. It's Bradbury again. He picks up about a gain of six as his clock winds down inside of two minutes left here in the third quarter. Now facing a third and five, throw to the right side. Ramel Williams runs out of real estate and does step out of bounds. He probably could have had a easily a first down if he would have stayed in bounds, maybe even a touchdown as we do settle for three once again, and now it's 19 to three. Let's see if our defense can come up with another stop. So a pitch out to the left side to start the next drive. There is Brian Simmons. They're going back to their old ways in that power eye as that brings it to a second and seven. Another pitch out to the right side, but this time Simmons is bottled up. We saw it the whole way. They just ran that play. David Wyatt with the tackle in the backfield. And that brings them to a third and 12. This time they come out with three wide receivers to the left side. Lee faces the pressure, throws to the right side. He's got Robinson who backtracks to the ball and that is gonna only be a gain of nine. That was actually, I credit the pressure to the left side, forcing the quarterback to make a throw that the receiver had to come back to. And now we start the fourth quarter already with a chance to put some more points on the board. Our defense is shutting down their offense. So here's Deshaun Wilson backing onto the field, scrambling to the right side. He dies forward for about a gain of eight. And now that brings it to a second and two now from about the 46 yard line handoff up the middle. And that's Apollo. He does have an open hole gain of 10. One of his longest runs of the day to be honest, but it's a first down. So now the clock winds down inside of six minutes left now. Julian Gonzalez handoff, he checks in. He gets a first down gain of six. 
And now five and a half minutes left here. Deshaun Wilson from the shotgun. He's going to scramble out to the right side and get rid of it to Michael Bradbury. And we just keep getting positive yardage on this drive. And that eventually brings us to a third and four. Play action fake. Deshaun Wilson throws. And that's a wide open miss to Michael Bradbury. And that's a bad incompletion. As now we have to settle for yet another field goal. That's five in this game. And it's 22 to three. And our defense, we've been riding them this year. We could ride them to a natty here. As now Wisconsin comes back out onto the field. Lee throws out to left side. It's caught by Zach McMahon. And that's a gain of five yards. And now they bring it to a second and five. Time is not their friend. Lee scrambles out to the right side. It does get swallowed up by the All-American Ali Myers, the junior. And that brings him to a third and six this time. Here, under center, they try to run the hurry up, but time keeps running. Throw to left side, and it's almost picked off. Maverick Yarbrough could have put this game away with the pick six, but take a look. Wisconsin does not go for it. Wow, so they punt the ball away, and here's Cole Lakalaka back to receive the punt return, and he does take it forward for about a gain of 10. Definitely a questionable play call that time by Coach Mike Singletary. Maybe they just believe in their offense to come up with the stop or maybe even a turnover. So three minutes left here in the game. Deshaun Wilson throws across the middle, and that is the senior, Maurice Highlights Jackson. What a career he's put on for the Whitetails, and that's his first catch of the game. And now two minutes left here in this one. Deshaun Wilson throw across the middle. It's caught by Apollo St. Vincent. And that's six yards, and we're now a minute and a half away from crowning a national championship once again for the Whitetails. Screen pass, third and four, and Apollo cannot get the first down. And now fourth and one. We get a first down this one. We pretty much put this game away. Handoff, Julian Gonzalez gets the left side, and it's tackled, and it's not enough. Only a gain of one. He maybe needed a yard and a half or so. But now Wisconsin comes back with all three timeouts, but under a minute left. They have to score three times here to even tie this game up. Here is Simmons with a throw to the right side. It's a gain of six, and Wisconsin burns their first timeout. So second and four, five wide. Throw to the right side. It's caught by Finley. Gain of three. And another timeout called as that brings it to a third and one. This time, screen pass to the right side. Simmons tries to get around Tamari Jamison, the linebacker of the year. Gain of nothing, fourth and one. This is the game. Lee blitz off the left edge. He's sacked, and the White Tails are champs back to back. What a defensive performance by this team, and wow, this was dominance from start to finish. We didn't even need big numbers from our offense. Our defense put on a show. And this was versus the number one defense. And we come away with our second national championship in a row. And I gotta give this one up to our defense. They carried us this year. And even look at this, the player of the game was our kicker who went five for five, the true freshman, Alex Kagan. And we add another trophy to the trophy case and another championship here in season eight. What a journey this season was, I swear. I mean, this was one of the most frustrating seasons of this entire dynasty simply because we could not pass the ball to save our lives at all. But Deshaun Wilson coming off of injury definitely helped with that. We couldn't put up the big numbers because Deshaun Wilson isn't really a air it out type of quarterback. He's more of just a game manager. And that was enough to ride us to the national championship off of our defensive loan. And I got to admit, this is a pretty sweet victory coming up against Wisconsin. Of all teams, I mean, that is just amazing. And Coco Bamaye rides out his last game with an interception. A lot of these seniors on this team, I'm going to miss them. And who knows, a lot of juniors could declare as well as Corey Lee couldn't do anything 15 for 19 barely even 180 yards passing and they only had 189 yards of total offense we shut down brian simmons as well as they went two for eight on third down and here we go 
another national championship, 14-0. And the journey does not stop here as we go into the offseason. Man, this is going to be a tough year because there's a lot of guys on defense probably declaring for the draft. I don't know. We'll see what their decision is. And then we're going to miss both of our senior cornerbacks as well. So this defense is going to look totally different come next year. So I'll see you in the offseason. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications. Life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's. And I bought a pair of shades. And I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left. Spent the rest on.